So 60 weight, we're almost there. I don't have to get the 90 obedience. I just have to get the 55 victories. Or vice versa. How close am I to a tamer level up? We got a lot of experience earlier, I thought. No, we still got like another 2,000 to go. We've got one TP. I think we're either going to get eight or nine TP on the next level up, so we're not going to be able to get Heaven's Blessing, unfortunately. I do really, like, once we get to the next life, after this next rebirth, I want to get the first two life type things so that my Megas will last a little bit longer so that we can make more progress in the game. I do also still want to get these early teacher types. There's just so much stuff I want. Like, I still want healthy. I want the other two extractor types. I really want Spirit Pitcher. I feel like if we get Spirit Pitcher, we'll start to have a lot less issue because we'll get order points a lot, a lot more often. Are you content with your new 10th? I am. I am indeed. Ah, just so many skills that I want, dude. There are too many good skills. These guys hate each other. They're back to zero. <laughs> they absolutely despise one another. Well... I don't know. Let's go to Logi Volcano and see if we can get Phoenix Mon any cool new fire moves. Getting some sick new fire moves on Phoenix Mon would be a big help. Give me that Digi stock. Our next Digimon might need the uh, might need the weight downs like Phoenix Mon did. Yeah, but first Fugamon, obviously, every time. It's a it's literally just uh, you spend like. 30 in-game minutes walking over here for a free thousand dollars. I'm telling you right now, if I was told like, hey, every morning if you walk for like an hour, you get a thousand dollars for free, I, I would be doing it every single day. Every single day. Anyone who's like, nah, dude, a thousand dollars for spending the first hour of my day walking somewhere, they're, they're madmen. They're actually like, they don't understand how money works. Hear me out, gigawatt laser, but fire. Yes, exactly. Hopefully we can also get some good materials in Logic Volcano and then get, uh, get this tamer level up. Wait, this way for Logic Volcano. I was going towards the power plant. Did you say Mario Sunshine is the best Gen 6 video game? What on earth does Gen 6 video game mean? Like, I don't even know what that means. PS2, GameCube, Xbox era? Oh. Then no. <laughs> not not even slightly. You see, you said Gen 6, and I was like, does he mean, like, the generation of consoles? But whenever I hear, like, Gen and then a number, I just immediately think Pokemon. Mario Sunshine was pretty good, but not one of my favorites. Especially if you're comparing it to, like, PlayStation 2 games. There are, like, plenty of PS2 games that I absolutely loved. Like, I would rather play any of the three Sly Cooper games than play uh, Super Mario Sunshine. Absolutely. How's the progression going? It's going pretty good. Welcome to Stream Yeti. We managed to get Grudemon to Mega for the first time ever and uh, made a little bit of Palace getting into the, the Palace of Thorns. A little bit of progress getting into the Palace of Thorns. I said Palace twice. But uh, now we're going to hopefully go get some new moves from Logic Volcano. Cast and chat just wanted to ask how long does it take to play through the entirety of Kingdom Hearts HD 1.5 plus 2.5 and a 2.8 final chapter prologue? No, I don't think... 70 and 80 hours, that's not enough. I think you're close, Wolfen, but I think it takes longer for a new player... Like, if you're a new player, unless you're following a guide that tells you exactly what to do, I think it's longer than 70 to 80 hours. Because let me, let me think about this for a second. So you're 1.2 and 2.5 and 2.8? No, not even including post-game. I think that's too little. Because I'm trying to think. I think it took Slyro and Michael, like, 
I think it took them like 25 hours. I think it took them 25 hours just to beat the main game of Kingdom Hearts 1. So that's 25 hours right there. I think you're going to take at least 30 hours for Kingdom Hearts 2, if not more, just for the main story. So that's 55 hours. Chain of Memories, if you play both sides of Chain of Memories, that's definitely 30 hours, maybe 40 hours. So, uh, well, no, depending on how good you are, I guess, at Chain of Memories and how you play, you could probably finish Chain of Memories in like 25 hours. But I think you're looking at, I think you're looking at 20 to 30 hours for each main game, probably more towards 30. So, like, if you, if you average that to 25 hours towards each one that is actually a full game, that's Kingdom Hearts, Chain of Memories, KH2, Birth by Sleep. Birth by Sleep will definitely take you 30 hours. That's 10 hours per the three th stories. So that's 30 hours on that. So 25, 25, 25 is 75. You're at 105 hours just with those four. That's 1.5 and 2.5. Then you have to watch, like, the cutscenes of the other two games, which is probably, like, an hour or two. And then you've still got Dream Drop Distance after that. And Dream Drop Distance should probably be about another 20 to 30 hours. Probably more towards 30. Especially for a new player. It's so like you're... To, to beat all of those Kingdom Hearts... Five full-fledged Kingdom Hearts games... You're probably looking at about 100 hours. Is what I would wager. Again, that, that can vary depending on... Uh, depending on your play style and how quickly or how slowly you play the games, but I would wager for someone who is new to the game, playing the games in the order of release, you're looking at at least 100 hours. At least. That's the way! Way to go! Now's your chance! Oh, dude! Meteor Mon does that little damage. That's Buster Dive, right? I want that. Give me Buster Dive. Is that enough for Starlight? No, it wasn't. What about you? Ah, Hornbuster, go. Raw Greymon, thank you so much for subbing a tier one for two months. Greatly appreciated, man. Thank you. Dream Drop Distance is a super fast game if you just do the story and not worry about making good spirits, like less than 15 hours. Uh, if you know exactly what you're doing, yeah. You've got to take into account that the person who's asking this supposedly has never played the games before. Otherwise, why would they be asking the question? So, like, if you're completely new to playing Dream Drop Distance, you're not going to be like, oh, I know how to beat this as fast as possible and then try and do it. I still, Dream Drop Distance, I think, is one of the shorter KH games for sure. I think Dream Drop Distance, even for a new player, like, about 20 hours is reasonable. But less than 15 hours? I don't think you're going to beat it in less than 15 hours if you're completely new to the game and have never touched it before. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, like, you got to take into account that, like, I, I can beat the first Kingdom Hearts in, like, less than... I, I think there's a trophy for beating Cage 1 in less than 15 hours, which I have earned that trophy. Or maybe it's less than 10 hours. I don't remember. I can beat the first Kingdom Hearts in, like, if I skip cutscenes and all and I, like, want to beat it fast, I can beat the first Kingdom Hearts in, like, less than 10 hours, probably, or around 10 hours. But someone who's completely new to the game and has never touched it before, they're going to be playing Cage 1 for probably around, like, 20... anywhere from 20 to 30 hours, depending. I think Cage 1 and 2 can be beaten in about 20 or so hours, even for a new player. Yeah. I don't think that would be the average, though. Like, could someone who's completely new to Cage 1 beat it in 20 hours? Absolutely. I think that's possible. Is it super likely that someone who's completely new to Kingdom Hearts will beat Cage 2 in just 20 hours? Ah. Or in less than 20 hours, I mean. I think someone completely new will probably be able to beat Cage 1 in about 20 hours. I would expect more around, like, 25. Yo, the enemies around this area are way lower level than I thought they were. Have you gotten all the trophies from all Kingdom Hearts games? No. I have gotten the Platinum Trophy in four Kingdom Hearts games. I got the Platinum in Kingdom Hearts 1. I got the Platinum in Chain of Memories. I got the Platinum in Kingdom Hearts 3. And I got the Platinum in Birth by Sleep. I Platinum those four Kingdom Hearts games. I have not Platinum Dream Drop Distance. And I have not platinumed uh, Kingdom Hearts 2. The only reason I haven't platinumed Kingdom Hearts 2, though, is because of the gummy ship stuff in Kingdom Hearts 2. I was, like, way too... When I was getting the platinums in the KH games, KH 2 was like... I got the platinum in Chain of, in uh, KH 1, then Birth by Sleep, then Chain of Memories. 
And by the time I started trying to get the platinum in cage two, I was just like, dude, I can't do this gummy stuff. It's, it's too boring. One day I'll go back in platinum cage two, though. I also have to beat the lingering will again, which I don't want to do. Hi, Bergemon. I don't want to fight the uh, bomber nannymon because there are three of them and fighting three at once is annoying. And also, like, what, what am I fighting them for? To try and get filth moves? I don't need filth moves. I want to run into, like, a high-level bird or something. I was hoping the Bergemon would be a bit stronger and could give me a new air move. But anyways, yeah. So I platinumed, uh... You can't platinum... Hi, guys. Oh, there's a dome on here. You can't platinum, um, I think this is where you get firewood, reliably. Anyways, you can't platinum 358 over two days, and you can't platinum recoded because the actual games are not on PlayStation, only the cutscenes are. But, uh, all of the other Kingdom Hearts games that you can platinum, I platinumed all of them except Cage 2. I th and Dream Drop Distance. I haven't platinum Dream Drop Distance or KH2, but I platinum the other uh, four Kingdom Hearts games because you can play up to six Kingdom. Oh, and Chain of or not Chain of Memories, uh, Melody of Memory. I platinum Melody of Memory as well. After I finished my playthrough of it, I got the platinum on my own time. So I also platinum Melody of Memory. So I platinumed every Kingdom Hearts game that you can on the PlayStation, other than KH2 and Dream Drop Distance, which I should really try and get back to platinuming those sometimes since they're the only two that I haven't. I just really don't want to. I think to Platinum uh, Dream Drop Distance, you have to, like, do all, like, get all of the spirits and level them up or some nonsense. I never looked into Platinuming Dream Drop Distance because I stopped my Platinum Crusade before getting to it. And then I just really don't want to fight the Lingering Will again, and I really don't want to, uh... I'd have to play Kingdom Hearts 2 on crit mode, which I don't want to do, and I'd have to do all the gummy ship stuff in Cage 2, which I also don't want to do. I am Domon, practitioner of the occult. No, not the occult club, no. I'm studying implements of the occult. I believe you can be of help. There's one thing I would like to humbly request of you. Could you collect the materials necessary for you to make a new Taoistic charm? I require three corianders, three deep sea essences, and five oily fruit. I don't think I've ever even seen a deep sea essence. I know it's a lot to ask, but I will give you the Taoistic charm when it is finished. I would greatly appreciate your assistance. I will try to remember to do this. I forgot to mention, do not speak of this to Talmon. I appreciate that he's a fellow occultist, but I hear the turmoil, turmoil of this world keeps him very busy. I would hate to give him yet one more thing to worry about. Make sure you keep this between us, I implore you. I'm pretty sure you're, like, evil or something and trying to fool me, but whatever. I think the only good wind move these guys have... Oh, they've got the attack up up. Yeah, I think the best move these guys have is, um... Is the, uh... The firewall and the air cutter, which I already have. No, I would not expect a Dream Drop Distance stream anytime soon. Honestly, I'm more likely to stream Kingdom Hearts 3 again before I am to do that, but... I'm not planning on doing more Kingdom Hearts stuff anytime soon. We did, uh, I did four Kingdom Hearts playthroughs, like, back-to-back -back not very long ago, so... Okay, gather round. Gather round, you here. Let's go ahead and take care of this bathroom nonsense. Alright, I, I guess, uh, Phoenixmon is playing hide-and-seek back there. Go away, all of you. Everyone dead. I'm surprised that Phoenix Mon is still taking this much damage, to be honest. Stay calm. Please die, thank you. Alright, cool. Now immediately kill another one. Thank you. BBS is da hands down my favorite Kingdom Hearts. It was my favorite until Kingdom Hearts 3. Now Kingdom Hearts 3 is my favorite, but uh, Birth by Sleep is my second favorite. Very, very respectable pick. I love Birth by Sleep. Mostly because I just love the the trio from Birth by Sleep the most is my favorite trio. Is this your favorite Digimon game? No. Hacker's Memory is my favorite Digimon game. Oh, we learned Burning Heart. That's the attack buff thing. That's neat. At least we got some. KS, what's going to be the new game you're doing? I believe you finished Mega Man. Uh, you believe wrong. I'm not done with Mega Man yet. I'm streaming Mega Man Star Force again on Monday. 
Yo, red Digizoid. Really good gets. Yo, five Digigod Wood. Ooh, you can get Digigod Wood here. And we got five of them. We only need five more, and then we can uh, upgrade the final field. Let's go. And Bamboo. This is my new favorite place. Another Digigod Wood. Dude, like... We need to stay in Logic Volcano until it's late enough to sleep in the tent so that I can immediately harvest those materials a second time. Uh, Kingdom Hearts Warriors game would be phenomenally good. I, I want it. Why Hacker's Memory? Just curious. Uh, there are a multitude of reasons. Uh, I prefer turn-based gameplay for Digimon than I do Next Order's gameplay. So uh, I like the turn-based gameplay in, in Digimon. There's also like... As opposed to some other turn-based games, like, uh, you know, obvious example being Pokemon. It feels like there's a lot less RNG nonsense in the turn-based Digimon games than there is in stuff like Pokemon. Um, it's got a wide variety of really cool Digimon you can get. I love the, uh, the Abbey system is pretty good and easy to understand and utilize. Uh, it's got a good difficulty curve for the most part. Uh, really good storyline. Amazing characters like Erika, Chitose, and Ryuji are all just fantastic. I love them. Really cool storyline, really awesome animated cutscenes, good music, good fighting. Uh, domination battles and all are really cool. Uh, area battles are really cool. Good ways to break up the uh, the normal gameplay while still keeping to the main core of the gameplay. It's just all good. Just basically all of it is great. I, I really have very... The only real complaint that I could ever have about Hacker's Memory is it's still a little bloated dialogue-wise. But, like, the dialogue in Hacker's Memory, like, it does not feel near as bloated as it does at times in the first Cyber Sleuth game. So it's really, I just have almost nothing but positive to say about it, which is why it's my favorite. Uh, Philly Willy, thank you so much for gifting a tier one sub. Greatly appreciated. Also, Tuna, welcome to stream. But uh, thank you so much for that gift sub. Greatly appreciated, man. Thank you for the support. What was I, I got so busy talking about why I love Hacker's Memory, I forgot why I opened this. What was I gonna look at? I don't remember. Anyways, I was saying, we, we need that bamboo and godwood again, so we need to... Oh, there's a bomber nannymon here. Did I walk by you earlier and just didn't notice? But we, uh... Oh, I was probably gonna look at the digi-mail that's got the notification at the bottom right. We need more... We need that godwood and digi-bamboo again. I require three corianders, three deep sea essence, and five oily fruit. Yeah, I'll get to it when I get to it. Hey, human, stay back. I'm about to explode. This won't end well for you. Huh? Those are some tough-looking partners you got there. I guess you might be okay then. Only one way to find out. Oh, uh, he just exploded. Wait, he's in the ground? The bomber Nanamon exploded. No, he didn't. He just dug underground. No, I hate the occult club in Hacker's Memory. That's one of my very, very uh, few complaints. Mega Kabuterimon and Phoenixmon protected Sonya and took the damage. I went off. Sorry, that was a pretty big bang. It scattered my body far and wide. Could you go and gather up the pieces? I hate to ask, but I really need your help. My torso, right arm, left arm, right leg, and left leg bring me all five pieces. Judging by the trajectories, they're probably in Nye Plains, Server, Desert, Wastelands, Mod Cape, and Faulty X Machina. What? What is this? I do not remember this at all. What are, what are your guys' HP looking like? You good? I thought it would come up at the bottom of the screen. Whoops. Oh, they're fine. Find my parts, five total. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Considering the angle, they're probably nine planes, server area. Yeah, I mean, we'll get them as we get them, whatever. We're not going to be going to Faulty X Machina for a little while. I, I still don't want to deal with these Bomber Nanimon. They annoy me. I think, is Cloudy Orange worth a good amount of money? Give me that. Screw that guy. You don't just explode and tell me what to do. Evidently, this guy does. Someone, please kill it while it's down. There we go. What is Nannymon meant to be? Uh, a freak. He's meant to be a freak. Stop aggroing! You guys aren't going to give me any good moves. Oh, come on. Why are they so fast? Stupid birds. Go away. Go away. All right, that one's dead? No, it's not dead. It's gonna be dead now. Later, nerd. An abomination, yeah. A super freak. Start an explosion.
explosion overkill. Go! I love that Starlight Explosion literally just makes it look like a waterfall of fire is falling on Phoenix Mom. <laughs> it looks ridiculous, but I love it. Not interested. Why is there... There are so many oranges here. Since when did oranges grow in volcanoes? Dude, can these guys screw off? <laughs> like, this is getting ridiculous. I'm counting on you. There we go. I do need to keep in mind that we still do not have 2200 stamina on Mega Kabuterimon. Oh, hey, we've got enough obedience for uh, Hercules Kabuterimon, at least 75 on the obedience. Still not at 60 weight, still not at 55 victories. I find very surprising, to be honest. We need five more weights, so we're almost there on weight. Imagine not knowing all oranges grow in volcanoes. Amateur hour over here. How does Shroom keep showing up? What's up, Shroom? How you doing? Stream title is how I've been feeling about Next Order the past few days. I'm internally and externally screaming win. Oh, what's my stream title? Oh, gonna lose it if this bird doesn't become the bigger bird. We got the bigger bird, thankfully. Also, good to see you, Andro. How's it going, brother? What's up? Stream has been pretty good. I finally got my bird to become a bigger bird shroom, so that was a big accomplishment that everyone was very excited for. Chat, I'm not going to tell you what it is, but you may or may not know that we're not streaming Toontown this coming Saturday because, uh, because Lone Wolf and Michael are both out. They are not around this Saturday. Me and Shroom have something special planned for Saturday. So... I would highly recommend dropping by on stream on Saturday. It's going to be neat. 